Hello guys, and welcome to Matt's Beamer. This is a video that many of you will find very exciting and enjoyable. I'm joking actually, this is a video which may make you fall asleep within 10 seconds. This is a video about the information on the sidewall of a tyre. Basically, all those codes, letters and numbers. Certain details may vary for manufacturers and even with the type of tyre you have. Plus, I haven't included every code known in the tyre industry as my tyre doesn't have every single code. I will focus on the tyres that I have on my 2012 F20 BMW 116i which I am running on 195.55 R16 Pirelli P1 Centellato Run Flats. Pirelli is the brand name and Centellato P1 is the product name. Before I start properly with the tyres, please remember to subscribe to my channel and if you find it useful, please share with your friends. Starting with the basics. 195.55 R16 is the size of the tyres, but let's break it down. Before the 195, sometimes there is a special code, but I think that's if you live in America. You may have a P, an LT, ST or T. P stands for passenger. This is basically normal cars. LT stands for light truck or as we call them in England, commercial vehicles, like the Ford Transit. The LT tyres are specially made to deal with the extra weight load that you wouldn't need on a normal car. ST means special trailer, and T means temporary, which is usually on certain spare tyres. OK, the first part of the code, which is 195 on my tyre, is the normal section width which tells me how wide the tyre is in millimetres from sidewall to sidewall the higher the number the wider the tyre the next numbers are the aspect ratio which reads as a percentage the aspect ratio gives you the height of the profile in percentage form for example on this tyre it reads 55 which means it is 55 percent so 55% of the tyre width will give you the sidewall profile, which means 55% of 195 is 107.25, which means the profile height of the tyre is 107.25 millimetres. The R on this tyre is telling you that this tyre has a radial construction. Tyres are generally made up from rubber or cord layers known as ply. Being a radial tyre means that the ply is going straight across the tyre as shown. If your tyre has a D, it means the angle of the ply is at an angle. D stands for diagonal bias. If you have a B, it means it has bias ply, which are usually found on trailer tyres. Where it says 16 on my tyre, that shows you the size of the wheel the tyre goes on. This measurement is in inches, so my wheels are 16 inches. Next you will notice that on my tyre it has 87V. This code divides into two. The first part of the code, the two numbers, refers to the load rating or the load index. The load rating on this car is 87. The load rating is basically the maximum load in kilograms this tyre can take. Remember that there are four tyres, so the amount the car weighs gets shared across the four tyres. The last letter after the load rating is the speed rating of a tyre. I will put up another table now, just so you can see. My rating is V. As you can see, V is OK up to the speed of 149 miles per hour or 240 kilometers per hour. It will be OK to main the 149 limit for long periods of time. But if you go over the 149 miles per hour limit, 
you may put yourself in a dangerous situation. Remember, if your tyre is not 100% perfect, you will need to be extra careful with your tyres, especially when going that fast. My tyre has a star on it. Other tyres may have initials instead. I shall once again put a table up. This refers to the homologation reference. In other words, my tyres were specially made for BMW or mini cars. They were made to meet the manufacturer's requirements and have been given the OE status. OE stands for Original Equipment. Treadwear Guide. This is basically a number system used to measure how fast or slow a tyre will wear down. A tyre with a rating of 200 will wear down twice as quick as one with 400. Mine are rated at 420. Just remember that this rating could differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. Traction. These measurements are showing how good the traction is on the car's tyre. AA is the best measurement and C is the worst. Here is a table of the initials next to the tarmac and concrete g-force ratings. Temperature. This grades the tyre at how well it copes with the resistance to heat. It is graded A, B, C. A is the best and C is the worst. C is the minimum requirement. Max load, short for maximum load, is telling you what the 87 did earlier in the video. It is telling you in plain English how much weight this tyre can take while at the maximum inflation pressure. So this individual tyre can take a maximum load of 545 kilograms or 1,202 pounds at the maximum pressure that this tyre can take, which is 51 PSI or 350 kPa. Just remember that this is the maximum tyre pressure and it is not what you should pump your tyre up to. You need to check the car's tyre pressure chart. This writing just here is telling you how the tyre is made up, giving you the information on composition and materials used on the tread plies and sidewall. The capital E mark in a circle is a certification of economics commissioned for Europe, or it's referred to as ECE. The number afterwards is the country who approved the tyre. So E3 is showing you Italy approved it. The little e with a number afterwards in a rectangle is the EU certification. It's referred to as the EC and is based on the EU directive. It is basically a safety certificate mark. Mine says E4, which means that Netherlands approved my tyre, saying it is safe to use. The RSC in a circle is telling you that it is a BMW run flat tyre. On this tyre, you will see it says the word outside. This means that this sidewall needs to be on the front edge of the tyre, on the outside of the car. If you see inside, on the outside, it is the wrong way round. Some tyres will have the word rotation with an arrow. This is to let you know which way to fit the tyre. The direction of the arrow needs to be in the same direction as the forward motion of the car when going forward. DOT stands for Department of Transportation and having DOT, D-O-T, means that it meets the safety requirements. If you don't have DOT on your tyre, it is not legal to be driven on the road, depending on your country. Just here, where it says 93, this stands for the Manufacturer's Plant Code, which was assigned by DOT. I use the website tiresafetygroup.com to help me work out where my tires were made, and mine were built at the SC Pirelli Tires Romania SRL in the capital of Slatina, 
which is in the state OLT in Romania. 54 on this tire stands for the tire size code number. The next four digits where it says L619 is the group of optional symbols of the manufacturer. This helps identify the brand or significant characteristics of the tyres. The last bit is the date the tyre was made. On my car it is 4211. The first two digits are the week the tyre was made. The last two digits refer to the year the tyre was made. This tyre was made on the 42nd week of 2011. The garage who checks my tyres for its condition each year says they are perfect still, though they are getting quite old. Tyres made pre-2000 have a three digit code. For example, if your three digits are 526, it would mean that the tyre was made on the 52nd week of the year in 1996. Here are some of the Eco Impact icons and what they mean. The first one is a picture of a fuel pump, as in the type you get at the petrol station. This basically shows you that this tyre was designed to improve fuel efficiency. This has been done by making the tyre have a lower rolling resistance. The leaf is showing clean air. This means that Pirelli is showing that they are going through more measures to save the environment with making tyres, for example, the reduction of raw materials used. The road heading into the distance signifies high mileage, which means that these tyres will let you do more miles without sacrificing anything. The musical note with the line going through it signifies low noise, this means that the tyres are designed to be quieter when driving down the road. Ideal for cars like the S-Class and 7 Series. I hope this video was of some use to you. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but who knows, you may have found it interesting. Anyway, thank you and take care. Goodbye.